To write the name for ZnCO3, we first need to recognize that we have the CO3 here, and it's a polyatomic ion. We also have a metal, the zinc. So we have a metal and a polyatomic ion. This is going to be an ionic compound. Specifically, it's called a ternary ionic compound. So to write the name for ZnCO3, first we write the name of the metal. That's zinc. Next, we need to either have memorized that CO3 is the carbonate ion and it has a 2 minus ionic charge, or if we're allowed, we can look that up on a table of common ions. So we have our ZnCO3. The CO3, that's the carbonate ion. We write carbonate. So the name for ZnCO3, that's zinc carbonate. If you are asked to write the formula given the name, we know that this carbonate ion, CO3, has a 2 minus ionic charge, and that's on the whole ion. The zinc, that has a 2 plus ionic charge. So it's just ZnCO3 for the formula. This is Dr. B with the name for ZnCO3, zinc carbonate. Thanks for watching.